A whistleblower is sounding the alarm on a data analytics firm that harvested information from millions of Americans without their permission. The firm is called Cambridge Analytica. They reportedly took information from over 50 million users, in part to help Donald Trump get elected in 2016. Joining me now from Syracuse, New York, is Jennifer Greigel. Jennifer is a social media expert and assistant professor of communications at the Newhouse School of Public Communications at Syracuse University. Professor, this was a system that aided President Trump's campaign, even Senator Ted Cruz's presidential campaign back in 2015. Can you explain to our viewers how it worked and how it could have impacted the election? Sure. Um, so the company uh, has been in business for several years, and it looks to harvest social media data to do strategic targeting. Um, their specialty was in a, a form of uh, research called PSYOPs, uh, so they could start to learn about personality traits of people. And then uh, through supplemented data gathered through Facebook, and in this case, Facebook is reporting that it was not uh, gathered properly, uh, they were able to do strategic targeting around the United States uh, in, in the hopes of influencing the election. Uh, and again, they were uh, early reports uh, stating that uh, for Senator Cruz, this program was used, which essentially was a test case. Uh, does this work? Uh, and I think that they found that, yes, it was helping to influence uh, voters and, uh, you know, helping to get them out to the polls and things like that. So then they deployed it for President Trump's campaign as well. Is this illegal? Uh, I would say that uh, if uh, what uh, Facebook is saying uh, happened, that they had harvested this, harvested this illegally, then, yeah, uh, it could be. And it depends on what country it took place in. Uh, laws are different in Britain uh, than they are here in the United States. And we need to see if the people were working, uh, you know, on this campaign here were U.S. citizens, because we have election laws here, uh, or if they were British nationals or uh, from other places in the, in the world. So it all depends. Uh, uh, so I think we have to wait and see. Well, whistlebl whistleblower Christopher Wiley sat down with the UK's Channel 4 News, and he said that Steve Bannon wanted to use Cambridge Analytica to change the culture of America. What is your sense of that? Well, I think, you know, Steve Bannon is hugely influential here in this country uh, and around the world, given his uh, access to uh, be able to distribute media uh, through Brett Barr and others, uh, through his large social media following, through his positions within the administration uh, when he was working with President Trump. Um, uh, like it or not, he is able to influence our culture just because of his influence. Uh, and I do think that he has an agenda, uh, like often, you know, many people do when they join uh, administrations and get into politics. And I do think that he's seeking to influence uh, the country uh, in, in accordance with his agenda. Well, in his statement Friday, Facebook acknowledged that it had learned it had been lied to, but that Facebook's chief security officer said on Twitter Saturday that this wasn't so much of a breach as it was someone taking advantage of Facebook's systems. How do you assess that statement? Well, I would say that, you know, people are able to exploit systems that aren't regulated. Uh, if anything, this underscores that um, maybe this wasn't a traditional breach, per se, um, but essentially there was nothing present, preventing and uh, protecting users of Facebook from having their data used in ways that they didn't agree to. So I think, if anything, um, this just highlights that there isn't enough regulatory uh, infrastructure here in the United States and possibly around the world to make sure that users are protected. So. Um, I would not be here to argue about, you know, the semantics and is this a breach or not. Uh, what I'm focused on is uh, our data, you know, being protected, uh, our users safe, and I would argue no. Uh, I think this this has really highlighted that we need uh, more regulation in this space to make sure that the companies are protecting users. And Professor, do we know if any other companies are doing the same thing? Um, I'm sure that there have been spinoffs. It was reported that, uh, you know, the, the, that at one point people from Cambridge Analytica had tried to start other co companies. Uh, I think we've gone and they've gone on and uh, have been employed uh, by other uh, platforms. I've heard reports that some of the staff are now working at Facebook. Um, but I would say that Facebook, in many ways, uh, functions in very similar ways. Um, and they are the company itself. So they have access to more data than even 
Cambridge Analytica would. Uh, and we saw reports around uh, the last election that uh, they were uh, embedding staff from Facebook into the campaigns. Uh, so in a lot of ways, um, Facebook is functioning uh, as a way to help campaigns target uh, audiences, and um, they have access to the most data. So I would say that Facebook itself is, is uh, another uh, company that would be potentially working in similar ways. And given what we now know, Professor, could this happen again, you think, in connection with the 2018 midterms? I think there are great concerns about the midterms that need to be addressed immediately. I hope that uh, you know people in Congress are taking a look at this very carefully uh, and that they step up uh, and start to hold uh, these companies accountable. I think we need to hear from Mark Zuckerberg uh, and the heads of the platforms, uh, and I think they need to testify and disclose exactly what's happening uh, with the data. Uh, we're just seeing a lot of reports that are saying, uh, no, they didn't have this, or no, this isn't what happened. I think we need, I need we need them to testify and tell us exactly what's going on here. All right, Jennifer Greigel. Professor, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.